What's up, guys? Your boy, Benny. America has always been a proud warrior class of people. We're kind of the world's forgotten children, right? Cast out, clawed, fought, and brawled our way across an ocean to come here. And, well, we're proud of the fact that we settled this place. We're proud of the fact that we created one hell of a nation here. And if you with us, you bout to get stomped. That's why some of the most iconoclast imagery of the last 250 years of Americana uh, are of our warrior class. Like this, one of the most famous photos ever taken called The Kiss, which depicts a sailor on VJ Day, the Victory Over Japan Day, sauntering through Times Square, giving an old smoocheroo to a dental assistant who was also wandering through Times Square. In this image, you can see the vim and vigor and victory, vitality of the American spirit on display and the sheer optimism, the joyousness of winning World War II in the Atlantic and in the Pacific. That's why this image has been turned into, well, massive statues around the country. You can see here in San Diego, there's a statue called The Kiss that's like 55 feet tall that shows kind of this moment crystallized forever and it's sitting right next to the USS Midway uh, which of course was a massive aircraft carrier uh, that fought in the Pacific theater and so this ladies and gentlemen is part of the story that we tell ourselves uh, of American history who we are as a people it shows kind of alpha male masculinity and beautiful femininity all wound up together in victory and the optimism and triumph of a generation to come. And because of all of those things, well, you got to know that the woke orcs and Marxist goblins who run the current Biden administration got to hate, got to hate this photo. Can't allow, can't allow this photo to continue, ladies and gentlemen. Just too much optimism, too much unvarnished, beautiful Americana. So, well, let's ban it. Oh yeah, baby. Let's ban the actual image. From where? Our Veterans Affairs Department. Not joking. Get a load of this. Woke Veterans Affairs memo calls for a ban on iconic VJ Day photo of sailor kissing woman in Times Square to promote awareness about non-consensual acts. But its secretary says it will stay. Oh, really? Let's have a read, ladies and gentlemen. So a memo went out. This is a real memo. You can see it right here. Saying that this image was sexual assault and that this image is offensive and creates an unsafe work environment inside of the VA. You wonder why America is fixing to lose a great war? This is why. This is how Marxism, truly, because this is really what's happening here. Marxists... They infiltrate institutions and then they rid those institutions of anything that came before them. You can't have any connection to the past. You can't have any religion. You can't have any family. You can't have any land. You can't have any property. They try and cut off and break and cut off at the knees like a culture. Culture that isn't Marxist. Year zero, Maoism is what it's actually called. And this is what you're truly seeing here in this authenticated memo that is 100% real. Get a load of this. Memorandum requests the removal of VJ Day Times Square photograph for all Veterans Health Administration facilities in alignment with the Department of Veterans Affairs commitment to maintaining a safe, respectful, and trauma-informed environment. This action is promoted by in recognition that the photograph, which depicts non-consensual act, is inconsistent with the VA's tolerance policy. Oh my. Oh my God. So this is offensive. The, the, the photograph of American victory from a young sailor who simply didn't want to go off to war and die, that is now offensive. Why? Well, because it's a non-consensual act. To foster a more trauma-informed environment that promotes the psychological safety of our employees and the veterans we serve, photographs depicting VJ Day in Times Square should be removed from all VA facilities, Veterans Affairs facilities. This action reflects our dedication to creating a respectful workplace in keeping with our broader efforts to promote a culture of inclusivity and awareness. This is your military. In celebrating of the World War II and the valiant services of our veterans and facilities should seek alternative photographs to capture the spirit of victory and peace without compromising the VA's commitment to safety and respectful environment. Your cooperation in this matter is vital. 
Parisians third these photographs are promptly removed from the facilities, facilities and explore suitable replacements. Should you have any questions, please contact the uh, director of harassment prevention. This from the Assistant Undersecretary of Health Operations, Ra Rima Ann Nelson. Ooh, baby. Here's Rima Ann Nelson. Physiognomy remains undefeated forever, ladies and gentlemen. Physiognomy, undefeated. Remarkable. Now, let's just, okay, let's, so let's just like cover a couple bases here. Um, here are the two people that were in the photograph reenacting the photograph 35 years later. Uh, does this look like trauma to you? If this woman was traumatized, would she be redoing, redoing this? They're married. To, they were married to different people, right? Guy, total Chad, this guy, they were married to different people. Uh, they lived happy lives. Uh, here they are at the world war II Memorial in Washington, DC in 2005, the two are, do they look traumatized to you? Do they look like, um, like they are horrified? Like, does she look like she, it's a hor like a horrifying experience as she reunites with this guy to smile and redo the photo time and time again? No, in fact, uh, Greta Zimmer Friedman, the woman in the photo lived a happy and beautiful life. She loved this country. She loved being featured in the photograph. She is a mother. She is a wife. She reunited with the, uh, the dude, his name's Mendoza, uh, multiple times to, they developed a friendship over the years. So what's actually happening here? Well, this goblin-esque, uh, cultural criminal here, again, we cannot say it enough. Rima Ann Nelson has decided that she is going to remake American history. She's going to remove what victory actually looks like and icon, like an iconic Americana. She's going to destroy our history, uh, because it offends her. American victory actually literally offends her. The department of veteran affairs has banned the VJ kiss photo from all departments facilities to promote inclusivity. The country you grew up in no longer exists. Yes. Everyone are paranoid freaks and lunatics who are offended by the mere existence of America, which is actually the point here. Uh, Charlie Kirk ready. The lunatic of the Biden VA who tried to ban the VJ kiss photo from VA facilities is Rima Ann Nelson. This isn't Nelson's first misadventure in the VA. A decade ago, Nelson potentially exposed up to 1,800 VA patients to HIV and had her facility closed down twice for safety issues while, rate, uh, while ranking dead last in patient satisfaction. Yet she's allowed to keep her job in the federal government. And instead of being fired, she is promoted. Nelson was reassigned to the Philippines where she got free housing and the same six-figure salary enjoyed in the U.S. Now she's back stateside as a higher up in the Biden administration trying to wreck America yet again. Look at this absolute monster. Here's of course the corresponding article talking about the failed St. Louis VA chief got plush job, free housing in the Philippines. Going to prove that, well, you just, you, you, I mean, she exposed 1800 veterans to HIV. And not even that will cost you your job. In fact, you'll get a raise. The $160,000 a year salary in St. Louis got the exact same thing. She was able to live like royalty. She got promoted for doing that. She gets rewarded for this behavior. What a sick, absolute degenerate freak. Biden's, v and it always is like the people who live the most miserable lives that wish to steal the little things that give actual joy and purpose to normal people. Biden's VA undersecretary hates men almost as much as she hates vets. She's banning the VJ Day photo because the sailor did not obtain consent before kissing the woman and said it wasn't a romantic event. It was like an event of, thank God the war was over kind of thing. This is like a quote. This is a quote from the woman in the photograph. Okay. So this woman right here says in a quote, it wasn't a romantic event. It was just an event of, thank God the war is over and we're not all going to die kind of thing. Hmm. Look at this. What kind of, what kind of war could you fight? Do you know what I mean? Right? 
Like, how dare you? How dare you judge the warrior class of a different and better generation? The Department of Veteran Affairs has just banned the VJ Day kiss photo to foster a more trauma-informed environment. Hmm. Biden regime has banned this photo that ended World War II. Why do the Democrats hate America so much? They hate it because a vibrant and strong and alpha America is the only thing that stands between them and globalists, collectivists, and world domination. They are trying to erase America's history. That's exactly right. Nothing is wrong with this photo, ladies and gentlemen. So apparently, after the outrage that this caused, that was furious this morning, the uh, secretary of the VA, a guy named McDonough, uh, who wasn't consulted on this memo, uh, had a meltdown and rescinded it once informed that it had been sent out. But two people familiar with the memo confirmed that it is authentic. And they wonder why recruitment levels are lower than they've ever been in the United States military. Um, if you care about our service members, then please do not vote for Democrats. If you care about the legacy of anyone who served in your family, do not vote for Democrats. These people hate America. They hate any service that isn't fealty to them and their party. They do not understand what honor is. They do not understand how to treat veterans. As somebody who has uh, multiple veterans in my family and as somebody whose wife worked at the VA, I can tell you uh, these monsters, especially these career criminals who operate the VA, uh, they are sick people. And all you need to do is listen to simple stories of people who've experienced what it's like um, to be wounded in war time uh, and to meet, let's say, Joe Biden in a hospital bed in a VA, and you'll understand exactly the depths of their depravity. It goes far beyond just the photo and erasing American history. It They're trying to erase the American warrior altogether. Check out this shocking clip from a soldier that was blown up in Joe Biden's suicidal pull out, retreat, surrender in Afghanistan and his interaction with Joe Biden put, send chills down your spine. These people hate America. Watch. This, I was like, oh my God. And that's what I said. And the secret, the secret service dude just like beat red and like trying not to laugh. And uh, I was like, Fuck. and this dude, like two minutes later, he walks in with him and Jill Biden and their little entourage of people and like a photographer and uh right away like remember him coming up to me um trying to shake my hand like my try to shake my right hand and i look at him and i'm like i don't have an arm and my left arm is in this big -ass cast with this giant orange foam block around it i completely immobile all i can do is move my head my arm's gone I'm like i don't have an arm and he says oh and like kind of stands up and then like goes over to reach for my fingers because about an inch of my fingers are showing and just like grabs my fingers doesn't say doesn't greet me or anything just that's what happened just grab my fingers and uh i was like okay that's weird and you know almost immediately starts talking like about how their son served in the military doesn't say anything about what happened. Starts talking about how their son served in the military. And uh, my mom is just like, she's furious at this point. And they're like taking pictures and stuff. And uh, she goes, she was like, literally, my mom said this. She's like, I don't give a f say I don't care what you guys fucking do. She's like, you better take care of him for the rest of his fucking life. And uh, like, she said that and um, I'm sitting there and he comes over to me and he leans over me. I have, a, I have a picture of this to prove it. I'll show you this picture that I have. Um, it's a pretty funny picture. Uh, and he leans over me and he's like this close to my face. And he's like, what do you want? I said, what do you want? Yeah, he said, what do you want? I said, what? He said, what, what do you want? And I'm just like confused. I'm, I just got blown up. I just saw my friends die next to me. I'm like, I just want to be myself. And he's like, huh? And my mom's furious. And she's like, he said he just wants to be himself. He just wants to be him. He said he just wants to be me. 
And he goes, oh, okay. And they just continue to talk about everything but what just happened. And then um, they just ushered him out of the room. He didn't know what to say. They ushered him out of the room, and that was that. And uh, my mom tried multiple times to get help from 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 them, reaching out to the first lady and try to get some some legislation passed for caretakers like herself who own businesses who don't get any financial support for helping their fucking service member that just got his whole life torn apart. And uh, she wanted to help other caretakers in the future have, you know, because they didn't, there's caretaker, there's certain amount of money that you can get as a caretaker depending on what you do and, uh, or help, but it's, it's a process. And so she was working through that, but she wanted to pass legislation for future caretakers to, to help get, you know, like, Hey, if you run a business and you need to come take care of your son, you know, serve their country and just got blown up. Like you can do that and not have to worry about financial for a little bit. You know what I mean? And so she was trying to get help with that and they just pretended to help. They kind of just brushed her off and, uh, pretended like they were connecting her with the right individuals and didn't help her at all. And so, um, obviously because of the Congress stuff now, my mom is since, you know, going to be moving forward with some, with some stuff with some individuals who are actually going to help, but nothing came of that. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that was, uh, two days after that. I'm, I'm in the, uh, I'm just in bed. And I'm telling I'm telling the doctors and the nurses for a couple of days, for like two days, I'm like, I can't breathe, like I can't breathe. And uh, uh, my a, a buddy of mine, um, a doctor who works at the hospital. He um, he's a resident right now. He was a reserve. Uh, he was in a reserve sniper platoon, and now he's in the army as an officer, uh, being a trauma surgeon to be a trauma surgeon. And uh, as soon as it happened, he came in and he connected the recon and sniper foundation guys like got them to send out a flag and like decorate my room really nice and be there for my mom and family so he was there as a friend